this is quite interesting. Microsoft is working on a Windows 10 game mode. We already know Windows 10 Creators Update will bring with it several new gaming features, which includes updates like the Windows 10 Store, like anyone cares, streaming and new versions of Microsoft Windows Display Driver model. Hmm. It has now been discovered that Microsoft is working on the Windows 10 gaming mode with DLL files relating to Microsoft's game mode. Discovered by Walking Cat in Windows 10 leaked build 14997. This new mode is expected to minimize Windows 10's resource usage when running a game, allowing games to run faster and smoother than older versions of Windows 10. While this feature is not functional in this build, it is expected to arrive in Windows 10 Creators Update Bring 2017. Oh man. Right now, it is unknown if this new game mode will function with all games or if it's limited to games from Microsoft Windows 10 Store. If this new mode delivers additional performance in the platform, it will be a huge gain to Microsoft, likely ensuring that even more gamers will move to the new OS. Well, so far, Windows 10, you know, I don't hate it. Uh, Windows 7, I enjoyed a lot. That was the first Windows I updated to from like XP for years. Uh, Windows 10, it's all right. Uh, it's not that big leap I was expecting. I'm not super blown away, but it isn't horrible. You know, I mean, it's not Vista. It isn't 8.1 or 8. Everybody's like, 8.1 is better, but I didn't like Windows 8 at all. So here's hoping that this is applied to all games and not just the Windows Store. That would be really lame. Next up is the Gigabyte AX370 Gaming K3 AM4 Motherboard. The pictures of the PCB of Gigabyte's upcoming AX370 Gaming K3 Motherboard has been leaked, showing support for the PCI 3.0, MVME storage, uh, M.2 SSDs, and DDR4 memory. Sadly, all that we see pictured here is a PCB, though it allows us to see several features of the motherboard like the 8 SATA 3 6 6GB ports, uh, let's see, Gigabyte Ethernet, USB 3.1 Gen 2, and HDMI. This motherboard will be a mid to high end AM4 motherboard, which will use the AMD X370 chipset, which is expected to support overclocking on both AMD Zen CPUs and Bristol Ridge CPUs. This motherboard will feature seven phase VRMs and an 8 pin ESP CPU connector allowing the motherboard to use AMD's high-end 95-watt 8-core Ryzen CPUs. That's pretty cool. As you can see with the PCB, the Gigabyte AM370 will have uh, two PCIe 3.0 16 slots, with one being wired with 16 lanes and one being wired with only four lanes. Hmm. The second PCIe 3.0 16 slot is on the motherboard is not expected to be used with a second GPU with this four lane being better suited to modern PCIe SSD solutions. The M.2 UA adapter, NVIDIA requires a minimum PCIe of eight times for SLI function correctly, though AMD does support crossfire with PCIe times four. Right now, AMD's Ryzen CPU and AMD4 motherboards are expected to launch late January or February with a paper launch early next month. I don't know, I was expecting it to like be totally like ready for some crazy SLI sort of stuff. Maybe my hopes are too high. But then this is a mid to mid to high end motherboard. So I guess I shouldn't expect too much. This isn't like you melt your fucking face crazy motherboard that you usually can get from Gigabyte. Not that I could afford them, mind you, but you know, this is cool, mid range. So essentially this is like probably gonna be uh, around a hundred to $120 motherboard. I'm just gonna guess here since it isn't really going for the double GPU sexiness that we all have come to know and love, even though most games don't support it too well on the NVIDIA front. Well, that's going to do it for me for now. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you, as always, for tuning into my channel. Uh, let's see, I've got a Twitch, I've got a Twitter, I've got a disease, and I can only have it cured by a cowbell. Shit, I really do wish I had a cowbell for moments like these. Oh, well. I'm out. Adios, pichachos. Do not forget that I have a second channel. I am trying to... Uh, I do not know what I am doing. I think this is obvious. Uh, that is why I sometimes talk in this accent. Uh, to try and impress uh, women. Because they, uh, they find me a bit more attractive when they think I am a European wanker instead of just the normal American douchebag. Thank you.